Good morning. Hello, Rebecca. How are you doing? I'm fine. You're out so early. Yes, I have to lead as a good example. You're a great boss. Yes, I am. You know people join an office because it's their dream job. But because of bad leadership, they quit. Very true. Bad leadership can affect the dreams of young people. Very true. But those that are emotionally strong will know that they can change a working space without changing their job. What do you mean change their workspace without changing their job? For example, sir, I'm a doctor. If those leading me are not treating me well or giving me the respect I want, I leave their work, the office and work elsewhere. Oh, I now get it. Change the working space, but not the job. Exactly. But getting a job is not easy. It's like, it's not like I'm saying you're wrong, but have you ever wondered why people stay glued to a job, even though it's abusive? Yes, it's because of the money. They stay there because they know it's better to be humiliated and make money than to be humiliated for not having money. Who told you it is better? Don't you think it is? No, I don't. Jesus! Surprised to see me. What are you doing here this morning? What about Ada? I'm here to see you. Guess what? What? Give me a minute. Oh, I feel like a princess. You're a princess. I'm feeling like one is what you're meant to feel. But what about Ada? Don't worry about him. You're making this wonderful breakfast feel alone. Come on, grab a spoon. Do you know how it feels to be given food on the bed, especially when you're just waking up? I know, but you tell me. Like a princess, bro. Anybody that marries you will enjoy you. Well, for now, I'm not married. So you will enjoy me to the fullest. You are the sweetest brother in the world. You are the sweetest sister in the world. Just imagine us without each other. The world itself can't exist without us. Exactly. But you know the world existed before us. The world existed before us because there is a possibility of me and you existing. I never knew you to be like a science person. There are still things you don't know about me, James. Because you're changing. Changing? Yes. I won't ask you why, James. Wait, did you make this food by yourself? Yes, it tastes so good, right? You wish. It's very bad. Oh no, what's wrong with it? What is wrong with what? The food. Oh, the food. Everything from the start to the end. Why are you still eating it? I don't have a choice, you know. You are my brother. I just have to eat it no matter what. You're almost done with the food. Done? Yes, it's not like the food is sweet. I just don't like to see food go to waste. I see what you're doing. Give me back my food. Oh, you are so late, James. Take it. <laughs> Why do I feel you are beginning to fall in love, Sarah? Fall in love? You can tell me anything. I'm your partner. You can tell me anything. Maybe I like him or I'm beginning to, but not love. I observe. But you should know that there is nothing I love more than finding my brother. Are you sure? I might not even love my brother like the act of finding him. What do you mean? The way I am dedicated to finding my brother is the most dedicated thing I might use my life to do. Wow. I know you weren't an easy person for Chief to just... Chief is good, patient, slow, and he also have his ways. Just be careful. Don't lose yourself in the process. For my brother's sake, I won't. I believe in you. I still owe you, you know. Yes, I remembered. I saved your life. I was about to just say that. You don't have to spell it out. No, it has to come out from my mouth because I saved your life, Adi. I can't wait to save yours back so I can boast about it. Ha! It's just to boost. Yes. Why else would I save your life? Oh, you think I'm going on you? Grow on me when you're not my hair. You know what I mean. Don't think I will save you for anything. What is your duty, officer? To protect life and property. So what about my life? It will be protected, but I will still boost. Okay, Adi. If I'm ever in trouble, I'll let you know. When you are talking, I will be your hero. So you prefer to be humiliated for not making money than to be humiliated while making money? I prefer none. I love dignity. Everybody does, sir. But not everyone is giving. No one is really giving. It's something we have to give to ourselves before others we give to us. So what if someone steps on it? Then the person goes, and if he's paying me, I quit my job. Weak people are made because they are always compromising. That's true, sir. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Felix? I am fine, Adam. I'll be going to work my desk. You want to go? Yes, sir. Okay, you can. Chief. We have got a situation. The shipment we ordered is attracting unwanted attention. Barry, we've been through this. Our operations need to stay low key. It's not about that. Word is spreading. News is a very big one. It's not impossible for anyone to know. True, 
but we covered payment for everyone we need to pay right yes it's all covered we can't afford any interference this deal is crucial for our expansion that's why i'm here we need a plan to divert attention or maybe speed up the delivery so it's in and out before anyone notice barry if you are always bringing problems to my doorsteps why am i paying you i have an idea what do you propose we need false information about the shipment route create a decoy meanwhile we move the rules through a different route a one the will suspect that's perfect just in case anything happens we will be safe only me and you know the real location with the dealer exactly so that there will be any leak so now that i cook breakfast for you i hope you will cook lunch for me so that was your plan maybe maybe not i can see through you james so you think i needed to cook for you before you cook for me yes that's your plan but you know that you don't have a choice even if i didn't cook for you you will still cook for me why because i'm visiting i don't live here so if i come to that house you would cook for me no that's that house not my own house okay so that's how it is yes i think your girlfriend is calling you she's not my girlfriend hello hi how are you doing i'm good how about you i'm fine thank you can we talk later i'm in the middle of something very important yeah no problem thank you we'll talk later you want to be a hero meaning of what help me find my brother and you'll be the hero the only hero i'll ever know that's how i relate with my workers even if you save my life it's not of much use to me finding my brother is my major priority in life anytime single or married let me go and see chief i can't change because i'm married who i am is who i am there is nothing between us and he looks innocent i will definitely tell you this when you get married don't worry no it's not time will tell let's live together i'll be on my way to chase what is the meaning of that adam meaning of what why are you guys talking so casually to yourself that's how i relate with my workers when you were single right anytime single or married no adam don't do that you will give these young girls an opportunity to sit on your lap i can't change because i'm married who i am is who i am no you can't behave the same way when you are single as when you are married you are two different people this is how many men start cheating because they open the window. These are things you are supposed to be telling me when I get married, bro. I will definitely tell you this when you get married. Don't worry. You think I'll do the same? Time will tell. So what location do you have in mind as the decoy? We have it as one too. Perfect location as a decoy. While the main location will be where? Where we usually have it. Let's give it another place. Okay. Like where? At area 8. Alright, sir. Alright. Who is that by your door? I don't know. It's a lady. Why is she standing by the door? Check it. Hello? How long have you been here? Just now. Something affected my makeup, so I had to clean it up. Is Chief around? Is that Sarah's voice I'm hearing? Please come in. Greetings, Chief. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm off. Chief, we will see you later. No problem. So you just chose to come see me? Yes. And you had to do makeup at the front of my house. Are you sure you came just to greet me? You won't understand. As a lady, our powder is our strength. What strength is that? I can't tell you our secret. Only ladies knows the power of a powder. Well, I will let you be with your secrets. Thank you, Chief. But why would you need your powder strength to come see me? You just said you will let me be. I'm getting old, you know. Nikke, it's been too long. Come on in. Why is he here? Hey, Nike. Long time. Yeah. Hi, James. We were just catching up. James dropped by for a visit. Wow. What about Adam? He's off to work. Just Emily and I are around. Yes, we are the only two around for now. Why is he here? Did I miss something? I don't know, but he's not causing any harm. Just keeping me company. Let me call Adi. Adi, it's Sarah. We need to talk. Sarah, what's going on? I overheard something. There are some illegal goods. They are going to be dropped at Abuja at... Are you sure about this, Sarah? Positive. Chief and his associate are involved. And I can't let this happen. I thought you thought Chief was innocent. Well, I wasn't right. Adi, please be careful. Chief is involved in this. And if he's as dangerous as we say, then we don't know what he's capable of. We need to act fast. I will inform Rebecca. We will make sure the authorities are alerted. I want to be there. I want to look at Chief in the eyes when he goes down. Sarah, we've got this. Stay safe. 
and don't worry, we'll handle it. If Chief is down, he is down. You won't be needing me. I want to be there. No, you can't be there just in case we might still need you as an informant. Wow, but I just gave a very vital piece of information. Don't get sentimental about this. He won't be there. This isn't even your case. What do you mean? Understand me. Even Rebecca can't be there yet. You are smart, Sarah, but sometimes I forget you are a lady. You have lots of emotions in you. It won't still work. Can't I stay from afar to see it happen? Stay safe, Sarah. But Emily, why is James here? Did something happen? No, nothing happened. He just dropped by. Just dropped by? He's acting strange. What's going on? Nikke, don't make a big deal out of it. He's not causing any trouble and Adam doesn't mind. Are you sure? It's just weird he's always around lately. He's my brother, Nikke. Family stuff. Adam knows and is not complaining. It's fine. I just find it odd. What's he doing here so often? Maybe he's just missing his sister. I don't know, but don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. When Chief first came under my radar, I genuinely believe he was innocent. After spending time with him for a while, his demeanor made it hard to see through. I thought he was just another person caught in the web of suspicion. I convinced myself he couldn't possibly be involved in this illegal activities we suspected. He played his part well, too well. I let his facade cloud my judgment. I almost felt sorry for him, thinking he was wrongly accused. It's infuriating now, knowing I fell for it. Damn it! Sarah, how could you be so naive? The former me would have seen through the act. I need to be the best version of me. Even Ade said I'm getting emotional. It's time to swallow it all and be the Sarah who has always been focused on finding my brother. Let's stay on track. They are close already. No mistakes. Ship goes down today. How many minutes will it take him to be here? One minute, sir. We have eyes on ship. Let's make sure we catch them in the act. The shipment should come in soon. This is a perfect location. You choose the right place, chief. Yeah, I know I did. Suspects are armed and dangerous. I repeat, suspects are armed and dangerous. It's your check. On my count, officers, one, two, three, go! Freeze, everyone! This is the police! Surrender now! Hey, cover me! I'm getting out of here! We've got you! Command! Freeze! Drop your weapons! Yes, chief! Yes, Z! How do we miss him? Yes? What? You guys were able to catch the two of them. Who and who? Chief and Barry? Wait. Are you certain it's Chief? You are? How? Sarah was watching. She helped. Hope she wasn't exposed. Okay. That's good news. We've got them, boys. Nice one. Good job. Gather the goose and everything. Um, it's getting pretty late. Adam is not yet back. Shouldn't he be home by now? Yeah, he's usually home by this time. It's not like this is the first time he's coming back, mate. Did he call you to tell you why he will be coming late? No, he didn't, but I tried calling him. Okay, what did he say? He didn't pick up. Maybe he's in a meeting or something. Um, I don't want to cause any trouble, but we both know that these are the little things that, I, that make me angry. Don't worry, he'll be back and there will be an explanation for this. Maybe he's even on his way. Hmm. Okay. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing serious. Maybe his phone died or he's caught up in traffic, but you should try calling him again. Okay, call him. I think I'll just pack my things and start leaving here. Just look at the time. He'll be back, James. Where am I? Rebecca. What happened last night? I must have been drunk, but why am I here? I was with Rebecca yesterday night after work. We went to have a drink. That's all I can remember. I am never drinking in my life again. What's what's this? Oh, my phone. Oh my God. 10 missed calls from Emily. I am sorry, baby. That must be Rebecca. She has to know what happened between us. She must not have been drunk. Here yeah, she wasn't. Dad, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, James. It was just a misunderstanding. We were so worried. What happened, Dad? Barry and I got caught up in a situation that wasn't what it seemed. The police realized there was a mistake and they released us. Yeah. It was a mix-up, but everything is sorted now. A mix-up? Dad, you and Barry were in a, in a jail cell. What really happened? It's a long story, kids. Let's just say sometimes things go sideways, but we are alright now. What about the charges? Cleared. They admitted it was a mistake. No charges. Well, I'm just glad you are both okay. Thanks, son. 
We appreciate your concern.